What's going on, guys? It's TKD, once you make a video. And, uh, you know, I want to discuss uh, Nintendo um, and their mistake they're making at E3 this year. Uh, so let me just, let me just, you know, preface this background in case, you know, you guys were not aware, living under a rock, right? There is a console called the Wii U. Now, uh, it is, you know, Nintendo's console right after the Wii. And uh, that console was coming off of the huge success of the Wii, right? The Wii did insane on sales and, you know, overall, like, it just, you know, everyone has a Wii, right? Everyone got a Wii. I mean, you you probably cannot name one person in your life that has never played the Wii or owned the Wii. You know, I owned the Wii. My grandma got it for me, you know, back when I was a little kid, right? Uh, you know, and um, along with, you know, the Wii, you know, being so big and so popular, uh... I feel like maybe, you know, Nintendo got a little cocky after that, right? Maybe, like, they they felt like they didn't need to explain what exactly the Wii U is, right? Because, you know, for the most part, they didn't really, you know, explain what the Wii U was that well, right? When uh, they announced it, I was watching live, you know, when they announced the uh, Wii U. And um, with me and all with everybody else, we all thought that the Wii U was just a tablet and that this was going to be just a different way to play the Wii, right? We had no idea that this was an entirely new console. And it's not just me that has that, you know, exact same thought. It's a lot of different people, right? It's a lot of people that, you know, have, you know, right when the uh, Wii U launched, there was a lot of people that were confused about it. Like, they thought that it was just a controller, then they realized that it's an entirely new console. Like, they, they just didn't advertise the Wii U the way they should have. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to when they did it with the Wii, right? I remember seeing it on the Today Show with Matt Lauer playing freaking Wii Golf with, you know, that one, um, weatherman, what's his name? I forgot his name, beside the point, beside the point, right? Now we get to this year, right? E3 2016, right? They, you know, there's rumors of the NX coming around, you know, there's, you know, this brand new console is going to be like a crossover between uh, a mobile system and a console, and like there's all these different things that are swirling around with the Wii U on the internet, and so, you know, one... One would assume that, that you know, they would officially announce the NX, maybe show it, show a bunch of games coming out for it, and announce a day, right? Not, maybe not a day, but a year, right? Wrong. Nintendo says that the Wii U will debut in 2017, right? I believe they said spring, I'm not 100% sure. I think they did said spring, but uh, let's just say spring, you know, just for argument's sake, right? So they announced the NX would be coming out in 2017 spring, right? And then they go on to say that the one game that they will bring to E3 this year is the new Zelda, which is not even coming out until 2017 because they're releasing it in the same time as the Wii U. Um, what? <laughs> what? I, I straight up laugh when I heard that. I'm like, yo, it's... It's like at this point, it's like it's like they want to fail. It's like they they literally just want to fail. It's like it's like they don't want to make money, right? Now I'm not the biggest fan of Nintendo. I never owned a Wii U. I never bought a Wii U. I never even thought of buying a Wii U. But you know, I did have a Wii. You know, you know I mean, like, and as a kid, I did play. You know, a lot of Wii, right? I wasn't, you know, uh, really that big of a, you know, PlayStation gamer. You know, at that point yet. But um. I've heard a lot of people that like Nintendo, and every time I talk to them, they just want they just want games. They just want good games for the system. You know what I'm saying? They're sick and tired of these games taking so long to make because it's only first party stuff and there's no third party support. And they just feel like you know they're in a different niche of the gaming uh, spectrum. You know what I'm saying? Like they just they just want games, right? And I just feel like if Nintendo wants to knock it out of the park with the Wii U, they had to sub up their game. And not sub up their game, you know, spec-wise, because, um, because, you know, at least in my opinion, I don't think that, you know, to have a console be big, it has to be the most powerful console. I totally disagree with that, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, what sells consoles is the games. What sells consoles is the software. What sells consoles is the features, right? It's not the specs of it, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, there is some sort of trend and comparison, right? If you look at PS4 and Xbox One, right? Obviously, the PS4 is more powerful than the Xbox One. However, if you look at last gen, the Xbox One was, you know, leading in console sales for the majority of that time. And the PlayStation only caught up later, right? And they caught up 
through games like, you know, Last of Us, the Uncharted series, when they brought the software and they really, you know, made good games, right? Not saying that Xbox didn't have good games, but I'm just saying that, you know, Xbox was the weaker console and the PlayStation 3 was the more powerful console, you know what I'm saying? If you're looking at it at a um, spec-wise. But with that being said, you know, I'm sure they've heard that uh, PlayStation and Xbox are coming out, are, well, not, you know, officially, but rumored to be, coming out with consoles that are more powerful than the PS4 and the, and the Xbox One, respectively, right? So they're going to come out this year with consoles that are more powerful than their current consoles right now, right? And if they, and if Nintendo wants to really bring it, right, I'm not, you know, saying that they have to have a more powerful version than the PS4.5 or the Xbox 2, whatever they call it, right? I'm just saying that they need to be able to compete with these consoles, right? They need to be somewhat comparable, right? Somewhat comparable, right? The Wii U is mostly comparable with like the PS3 and the Xbox 360. The Wii U does not even come close to these consoles that we have now, right? So, my main argument here is that, like, I don't think that Nintendo should be aiming to, you know, have the most powerful console because that's that's not realistic, right? They still need to be able to make a profit off this console, right? So, they can't have this hop line specs. What I'm saying is they need to make a console that gets their third-party support back. They need to bring the software into the console, right? They need that third-party support because, you know, they have been trying to do it with only first-party, and yeah, it works for the Wii for the most part, but if you think back to the Wii, there was a lot of crap third-party games that were just bad, right? And, you know, P and, you know, there are big companies like Ubisoft and EA that have gone on record that they will not develop for Nintendo consoles because they're just... they're. Their console just is not friendly to that thing. And they need to make the Wii U friendly to third-party support and bring in the software to be successful, right? That's what I feel like their game plan is. And right now, with this plan of E3 that they're only going to show Zelda, um, that's that's crazy. That's crazy talk. That that does not sound like a good plan uh, at all. So, I mean, that's all I got to say about, you know, uh, this whole Wii U thing. I hope that, you know, they... Get, you know, they get themselves together because in the end, competition breeds a better product for us, right? Competition is good. Capitalism, you know what I'm saying, is good. And like, you know, having companies having to compete with other companies for our dollars enables us to have better products. So uh, that's all I got to say about that topic. So if you guys know the content, please, in the description below, you can like, subscribe, favorite, all that good stuff. Favorite. You can like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And uh, if you guys, you know, uh, want to uh, follow me, you can follow me in the links below on my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all that good stuff. You can follow me in there. See what I'm doing. Follow my Snapchat. I give some good stuff on my Snapchat. I'm just saying. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying. And, uh, you know, that's all I got to say. So uh, as always, I got you.